you've all probably noticed, it's been quite some time since the map has sent us on a mission of friendship. Yeah, ever since Starlink messed with it to go back in time and try to change history. Yes, since then. But as part of her studies, Starlight's been assisting me, and together we think we've come up with a spell that will get it working again. <laughs> now, without further ado... Somewhere that has modern conveniences would be preferable. <gasps> Canterlot! <gasps> this is wonderful! I can check the boutique. Perhaps there'll be some social events that we can attend. <gasps> I'll have to pack extra outfit! What will I wear? You know, some ponies get excited about the silliest things. My little pony, my little pony. Sure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? <sighs> now then, as far as finding a friendship problem, I suggest we start at the castle. And begin to question the proper. Oh, Rarity, you don't find a friendship problem, it finds you. We just need to go with the flow, and eventually, kablam! We get friendship problems right between the eyes. Well, this is a team effort, so if you feel we should go with the flow, then with the flow we shall go. Where's the flow saying we should go? You know Cancer Lot. What do you think we should do? Take your pick culture, couture, cuisine. Oh, my. Well, it sounds like your stomach is saying we should flow towards some lunch. I know just where to go. Restaurant Row. The absolute best place for fine dining in all of Equestria. Ooh, so many choices. Where should we go? This one? That one? Those ones? Any establishments that have this. The three hoof rating. Um, whose hooves? Why, Zesty Gourmand, the queen of cuisine. When it comes to food, she is the ultimate authority in Canterlot, and that's all Equestria. She judges a restaurant on cuisine, decor, and presentation. Without her approval, a restaurant simply cannot survive. What's so important about her approval? Zesty grew up around fine dining, and every pony hangs on her every word when it comes to cuisine. Wow! Then the food here must be amazing! Lead the way, partner! Presentation. Mm. Oh. Ah, yes, very nice. <laughs> oh, maybe I'm not in the mood for whatever this is. Can we try someplace else? Um, yeah. Maybe one more stop? Blech! Nope. Trusting somebody else's hooves, I should pick the next place. <sighs> Very well. Lunch? 
Yes, indeed. I'm Saffron Masala, the chef here at the Tasty Treat, the most exotic cuisine in Canterlot. Would you like to hear about the specials? We're actually in a bit of a hurry. Yes, please. We have a curried oat cake. We'll take one. And a glass sandwich that has been marinated overnight in a mustard Dijon dressing. How can you say no to that? Uh, and for you? Oh, me? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. No raking. <sighs> <sighs> I don't think that can go anyway. Anyway, they won't. Hiya! What's your name? Coriander Cumin. Are you a chef here too? My daughter cooks. I host. Then why are you stacking chairs? Without customers, I have no pony to host for. So, I stack. Father, stop it. Don't close up the restaurant around our guests. What does it matter? When they leave, no pony else will be coming in. Well, your attitude isn't going to bring anyone in. Can't you at least pretend to be positive? So good. You are doing enough pretending for the both of us. No pony here wants to try anything new. I know when to throw in the towel. Um, Pinky, perhaps we should excuse ourselves. Oh, oh really? Try this. <laughs> oh, maybe if you would listen to my ideas for once. Oh, yes. I did not move halfway across Equestria for my daughter that I never listened to. Rarity. I think that friendship problem just kablammed us right between the eyes. These two? Oh, I don't know, darling. The food is excellent, but I'm not sure there's much you and I can do to help them. What would you have me do? We can't even get Zesty Gourmand to come to our restaurant. She took one look at how empty it was and said it wasn't even worth rating. That's it? Yes! Uh, what's it? The flow has led us here. This is our mission. We are going to get you a free hoof rating and save your restaurant. I can get Zesty Gourmand here. <gasps> and I can pack this plate with ponies. Hmm. And how do you intend to do such a thing? Just, Just leave it to us. <laughs> When the lovely pony comes back and says she couldn't convince Zesty Gourmand to come visit us, we will need to pack all this up. I'm just getting a head start. We really don't know Rarity. I've done it! See? It took all of my charm and cajoling, but I was able to convince Zesty Gourmand to come and try the food. What is the catch? Ah, uh, yes. Well, um... There is a bit of a challenge. The only time she can make herself available is tonight. Oh, yeah, right. What is it? Zesty rates a restaurant on cuisine, decor, and presentation. And she has very specific tastes. If she's coming tonight, there is quite a bit of work that needs to get done. Like what? A oh, tweak here, a tuck there, some slight modifications to the menu. <laughs> we just need the place to feel more cosmopolitan. <laughs> Father, after Rarity went to all of this trouble for us, can't we at least try? Why don't I stay behind with Coriander to get the restaurant ready for Zesty's arrival? You and Saffron can try and drum up some business. One packed restaurant coming right up! Coriander, I understand your trepidation, but I promise you we will get those hooves by making this place feel just like all of the other restaurants on Restaurant Row. Oh, I hope my father doesn't drive Rarity crazy. It'll be fine. Rarity's gonna make sure that the Tasty Treat is the most unique and beautiful restaurant in Canterlot. Not like all those stuffy places on Restaurant Row. <laughs> Here's what I know If you want to succeed You must follow the trends That's the key If you want to show That you've got what it takes You must be what they want you to be
make sure that you are a hit too. Don't ever change me. your name will help you every step of the way because we know what you need to do and you should know it too it's gonna work i know it's gonna work it's gonna work out just fine trust me it's gonna work i swear it's gonna work it's gonna work out just fine you'll see The day is almost over, and we haven't found any ponies. What will we do? Try harder. Phillies and gentle coats, check out the super stupendous and amazing cuisine of the Tasty Treat. Grand reopening tonight! How many hooves does it have? No hooves yet, but hopefully soon. Well, when it gets raided, let us know. Ugh, those stupid hooves! Oh, look at this, hon. Oh, the tasty treat. Do you think that's a restaurant, Sugar? Yes, yes it is! We came to Canterlot from Minneapolis to be adventurous. But so far, the food in all these hoity-toity places tastes like some pony cooked up nothing with a side of nothing. Well, please, come try the tasty treat. I think it's going to be exactly what you're looking for. going to be exactly what Zesty is looking for. Father, we're back. <gasps> Parody, what did you do? Welcome to the tasty treat. You can eat here if you want, or not. Who cares? I know. Isn't it perfect? Zesty is sure to love it. I thought we were trying to make this the most unique and beautiful restaurant in Canterlot, not make it exactly like every other restaurant. Oh, we want to help our friends by getting them three hooves. That will only happen if this is like every other restaurant. Father, what is this? Not that dirty thing to death! This is what we must cook if we want to succeed here. This isn't what I wanted. I wanted Canterlot to like us for us. Rarity, how could you ruin the restaurant? Oh. <laughs> We've helped save the restaurant. Now, where are the other guests? How many other ponies are coming? Two. Just two? I thought you said you could pack a place with ponies no matter what. You said you would make the restaurant better, so I guess we both didn't know what we were talking about! <gasps> Let's see your mind! Welcome to the Tasty Treat. What can I get you this evening? I hardly think it matters, but by all means, try your best to impress. Well, we'll both try this special this evening. Maybe with a little kick to it, eh? Yeah, we've been craving some food with actual taste. Sapra Masala! What are you doing? I'm trying to save our reputations! I've given it at least a little bit of flavor. No, 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 no. But that's not what Zesty wants. What kind of food expert doesn't want flavor? That's insane! I'm taking this out there! No! Zesty will hate it! You are going to ruin this for them! No! I'm trying to fix it after you ruined it! Whoops. I think we are done here. Zesty, please wait. Allow me to explain. Rarity, when it comes to fashion, you are adequate. But take some advice from a friend. 
Keep your opinions out of restaurants. Substandard food, laughable service, and I would think even you could recognize that the decor here is trying desperately, while desperately failing. Recommending a disreputable place such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Disreputable? You mean a place with food that actually tastes good? Any pony can throw ingredients together and create an obvious taste that uncultured ponies like those two can register. Hey! But it takes a true culinary artist to create a subtle taste, the barest hint of a sensation. That's what I bring to Cantalot. That's art. I'm so embarrassed. I don't know that there are words to adequately express how truly sorry we are. The worst has happened. No use crying over spilled food now. Here, this always cheered me up when I was younger. <gasps> My spicy flat noodle soup. Oh, oh my, this is truly delightful. Mm, this is the best thing you've made so far. And I thought the food before was the best. That's all I've ever wanted to do, Father. Make food for the ponies of Canterlot, like the food we made together when I was younger. It has been so long since we cooked together. <laughs> Remember how you used to hide the ingredients you did not like? <laughs> <laughs> no. What? Who cares what some stuffy unicorn thinks of the food here? It's exquisite. That's true. And you don't need three silly hooves in your window to prove it. That's double true. You just need ponies in here to give it a chance. Ponies that will tell every pony else in Cantalot that the Tasty Treat is the best food in the city. That's true times three. But without Zesty's approval, no pony will even try our food. Oh, yes, they will. Pinky, we are the perfect team for this. We were just doing the wrong jobs. I will go out and bring the crowd. You stay here and make sure this place is every bit as unique and rustic as it was the moment we walked in. And what about us? You two? You are going to cook. Make whatever you want and make a lot of it. I intend to bring a crowd. Would the owner of one of the premier boutiques in Cantalot put a stamp of approval on something that wasn't fabulous? Ready for the grand re reopening? Before we open, my father and I just wanted to say thank you for all of your help. We've both been so stressed about the restaurant succeeding that we forgot what it was we loved about it in the first place. Cooking is something we used to love to do together. No matter what happens next, thank you for reminding us of that. Oh, you guys! Group hug! <laughs> <laughs> now, come on! We've got a party! to the tasty treat. Make yourselves comfortable. Please, feel free to sample the food. What's this? What is every pony doing here? This place has no hooves. It is not in keeping with the level of cuisine that I have set for Cantalot. No pony told you this place was acceptable. Uh, Rarity and her friend said it was good? They told us. They told you? And who are they to tell you anything? Rarity can tell you what hats to wear with which skirts. Her friend can tell you how to maintain a tragic look for a frizzy mane. They can't tell you what food you can eat. No, we can't. And neither can you. No pony has the right to tell these ponies what to think. Zesty, you have very uh, specific and very strange Yes, and very strange opinions about food. And that's your right. But just because you like your food a certain way, there is no reason to tell these ponies that they need to do the same. Rarity is right. I, for one, think the food here is delicious. 
I own the smoked oat on Restaurant Row. I hate the food we make. From now on, it's all smoked, basted, and grilled. This food is an inspiration. I own the bake stop. I'm going to bake my mother's bundt cake the way she made it, full of flavor. <laughs> Zesty, are you sure you wouldn't like to try the food? Ignoring a unique and fresh establishment such as this could do serious damage to your social standing. Thank you so much. You are both truly amazing.